Hello beloved viewers of Sight and Sounds of Pakistan. Today I am going to discuss about something that is very sensitive but in my life I am always of the opinion that nothing is off topic. One should be able to discuss about anything, but it should be very decent way of discussion. Uh, we should be tolerant. We should be accepting other people's views. We should listen carefully what other people have to say, no matter how open I am to the discussion with anyone. Of course, my opinion is also biased and colored by how I was raised and where I was raised. So here I go. My channel is not a political channel. I don't give any political views. Uh, religious views, I don't care. My only concern is Pakistan. But does it mean I should not have any opinion about what's happening in the world? Of course I should because I'm also a human being and I watch news on a daily basis, though I don't dig too deep in it. Um, but recent developments uh, what is happening in Kashmir that has bothered me a lot. Uh, let me tell you something about myself. My ancestors come from Kashmir. So I am basically Pakistani Kashmiri. And uh, do I feel Kashmiri? Well, I don't know. I feel more Pakistani than Kashmiri and even more Pakistani Dutch than Kashmiri. But for me, this is not even about me being a Pakistani, though of course if I was not a Pakistani, this would not have bothered me a lot and I would not have paid any attention to it. But since I have a Kashmiri background and I am a Pakistani, I cannot avoid talking about this. But again, I am here in front of you in front of my Indian brothers and sisters who are very dear to me and I can differentiate, I can differentiate. Uh, I, I think even God forbid, if there was a war going on, I still would be friends with many Indians because I can differentiate that. I can uh, talk to someone and have a relationship as, a, as an individual uh, without blaming everyone. So the thing about Kashmir is a human rights issue, according to me. And what does bother me is the restriction of social media, restriction of the media in general, and in particular, the social media that is I mean, the freedom to use that is curved. I don't know if that is the right English word. Curbed. Yes, I will not cut this out. I don't care. It doesn't bother me the least. So that is what is bothering me. I talk to you as a Pakistani but as a human being and I believe whatever is happening there is wrong. What is wrong? That I will not talk about where Kashmiris want to belong to. Do they want to be with Pakistan or India? Does not bother me. I don't care. It's up to them. I mean, let them be 
with India. All right, so be it. And Pakistan should stay out of that. All right, whatever is happening there. But when something like this happens that even Indian media and Indian politicians are not allowed to enter Indian administered Kashmir, then I am bothered. Yes, then I'm bothered. I think it, it has been almost 20 days that there is curfew in Indian administered Kashmir. And, and, and what is happening there? No one knows. I mean, I can sum up all the things what are happening there, but I'm not in the mood to do that. I don't want to, you know, uh, play this game, you know, India is doing that wrong, Pakistan is uh, doing that good for the Kashmiris, you know, that does not even bother me. What bothers me is what should bother any human being on this freaking planet that grave, grave, I will not even call it human rights, but grave, grave things are happening in Indian administered Kashmir that are not right. Just don't cut them off the world. Like, I mean, as you are listening to me, I am not indulging in finger pointing. I'm not indulging in dirty politics or blame game. I'm just saying that let them speak out. Let them speak out. All right, you should control. You should make sure that things are under control in Indian administered Kashmir. But if you cut off any communication with the outside world, then, you know, whether Pakistan does it or anyone else does it, European countries don't do that anymore, luckily, thank God. But in Pakistan, this also happens. Sometimes, for example, I don't know, I've heard of cases that they've also cut off communication, you know, but it, it will only work against you. It will only work against you when you do not allow them to communicate with the outside world. Control the situation in Indian administered Kashmir. Make sure that there are no riots. I understand, as, a, as an Indian, I understand. You don't want any riots in your administered Kashmir. You don't want things to go, get out of hand, get out of control. You want to show the writ of the government. Of course, every country wants to do that. But don't cut off the communication with the rest of the world. Simple as that. And that really does bother me. Again, uh, many people will agree with me. Others will not agree with me. I love them all. <laughs> I love you all. Uh, you can comment. Let's discuss about this. But refrain from abusing the comment section. I've said it many times. Whether you are Pakistani, Indian, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Christian, I really could not care less. Don't abuse anyone. If a Pakistani will abuse Indians, you can have a healthy discussion. I will fill the, the comments are automatically filtered. So don't use any bad language. Um, be nice to each other. And we should openly talk about these things without, you know, getting dirty. 
So from my side, Allah Hafiz, keep on enjoying my videos and believe me, I, I will not go too deep into this because I don't know. I, I just want to be happy. I'm a happy guy. But this bothered me. You know, I had to say something about it. And, uh, you know, let's live peacefully, happily with each other. India cannot live without Pakistan. Pakistan cannot live without each other. We are neighbors. We can't move anywhere else. We have to live with each other. And let's live with each other. And of course, there are other things I, I could talk about. You know, we shouldn't stop cultural exchange. We shouldn't uh, cut off the airspace for the Indians. And you know, it's like tit for tat. They are doing this, you know. So we can, we can talk about that. But I'm not in the mood to talk about that. I just, well, I said what I said. And uh, hopefully you will respect my opinion. And I will respect your opinion. Take care. Inshallah, talk to you soon and do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet subscribed it. Allah Hafiz.